YouTube! We're back! We got a new video for you. It's warm out, we're having a great time. We're enjoying Rambo, things are great. But you know what's not great? The classic clicky starter issue with the Suzuki Samurai. You ever had a Samurai before? You probably had a clicky starter. That, what I'm talking about is you go to start the car with the key and you just hear a click, 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 click. And then after what, six, seven, eight times, the bad boy finally starts and you're like, thank God, thought I was gonna be stranded, you know? So this has happened to me, happened to all my friends. It's a classic problem for 20 years. There's uh, various ways to band-aid the issue, but we're gonna show you how to clean out the ignition switch and do it the right way and get your contacts all cleaned up so you can avoid that embarrassing click, 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 because that sucks, man. We're talking Samurais, they're reliable as hell. You don't wanna be stuck with the click. So let's go, uh, let's go show you how to do the work. Woo! That's okay. Come on, man. Let's do the work, eh? So this is a job you can do in the vehicle. You do not need to remove the ignition switch, but I'm, for video purpose, I have an ignition switch removed, so it'll be much easier and clear to see. If you're gonna do this project while it's in the vehicle, you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver that has a, a 90 degree bend really helps because you're going to be up behind the, the console there and you're going to be pulling out that screw, which I'm about to show you. So this you'll need if you're going to be doing it in the vehicle or at least a stubby Phillips head. Otherwise, these are the basics of what you're going to need here. We've got our ignition switch removed. We've got a pick or a small flat head screwdriver will also work. A regular Phillips head dielectric grease, um, something to clean the, the copper contacts. So we've got our, our cleaning agents here, steel wool, and this is a little more abrasive scrubbing brush that I, that I got here. Paper towel, Miller High Life, yeah! So let's get into it. So well, first thing we're gonna be doing, this is what you're, you're removing. This is the actual, the actual part of concern. So you got a Phillips head screw right there which again, you'll be using this and you're, that's what you're reaching for in the back. But for the video, we're pulling out your, your Phillips head. Come out real easy because it's just going into plastic. Now your ignitions, ignition cylinder, we don't need that for the rest of the video. So now, this is what we're working on. What we need to do is separate the black plastic from the white plastic. And there's several ways to do it. Um, you basically need to loosen up these clips. A lot of times I just get a, a real sharp little, little prick nasty in there and I'll just pop it out. Prick nasty does it again. So now this is the issue. We've got some, uh, some dirty contacts. This one's not terrible. Yours will probably look way worse. Um, I've seen way worse. So you got 30 year old grease in here that's all nasty, gummed up. You might have some uh, corrosion, everything in there that's, it's just bad news. So you can take your little piece of your copper plate out, set this so there's three springs in there. You don't want to lose those. And what we're going to do is we're going to clean, clean this surface. I'm going to get off all that old grease. And you're going to do it on this surface as well. So clean this the best you can. If you have a, a little shot of brake cleaner or electrical cleaner just to get off the, the greasy residue, that's, that's not a bad idea. This side's a little bit more gunked up. So we're just going to clean, clean all that old nasty grease off. And this one's cleaning up not too bad just by wiping it down. But then you're going to... Then you're going to get your steel wool, and we're really going to clean those contacts until it shines like a brand new copper penny. That's what you want. You want that good, that good shine. So I've got this, uh, this thing's a little more abrasive, and I like to polish the hell out of that puppy. So you're going to clean your contacts until they're nice and shiny. 
and you're gonna do them on both surfaces so that when you switch through the on accessory and start position, you're getting the best electrical contact you can. So I would keep going, but for the video, we're just gonna give you the, the quick rundown. So. so now we got them all cleaned up. I'm gonna give them one more wipe down again. If I was doing this on my own where I'm not on camera, I'd spend a little more time, get them cleaned up. But then you're gonna take your dielectric grease, always have a tube of this on hand, and give a, a nice liberal coat to your contacts so that this, this keeps you nice and, and good for, for years to come. Okay, so you got, got your contacts coated up real nice. Then you're gonna set your, your piece back in. That grease is a little sticky, so it's gonna be, gonna wanna stick to your fingers. Then I hit a little coat on the other side, not too much, but just enough. Just that right amount. So okay, you're basically done now. You got your, your contacts lubed up, and then you just gotta line up this ear with the big, the big slot in there. And you basically just pinch your switch back together. She's back together. Make sure it's, you don't wanna crack any of this white part of the plastic, cause then this will be loose if you do that. I would recommend replacing it. But this is nice solid. There's no, no free movement in there. Then you're gonna basically just put your, your switch back in, take your Phillips head, tighten her back in, reinstall it, or if you're, it's already installed in the video, at this point, you're, you're done. You can plug it back in and uh, hit the key, see what happens. Some guys will probably say, hey, you should have disconnected the battery first. Well, you could do that. Sometimes we don't. You know how it rolls around here. Not that big of a deal. There's also, uh, many guys hate on the, the relay switch that puts all the power to the starter, and, and that's, that's the Band-Aid fix. A lot of guys will, will hate on that. It's not the right way, but it does work as well. I strongly recommend doing this and not doing that, but it, you're gonna get beat up on the internet if you talk about it. So, so do it the right way, get it going, get it snapping with that full power, and then you say, say hello to my little switch, man, okay? Okay! You know what I'm talking about? Tony Montana, that thing. So hey, another video of Highway 83 YouTube. We appreciate all the, the suggestions. We got a long list of just constant people. Hey, do this, do that. I wanna see a video of this, wanna see a video of that. And we're working on it. We're knocking them off down the list. So usually starting with the most requested. This one, very common. I got to do it on on my own my own rig Rambo out there. She's been getting a little a little finicky. So so figured we throw a video out, and uh, we got that free giveaway coming up at the end of the week. Thank you guys for watching. It's Highway 83 Suzuki. It's Miller time, baby.